welcome to the Process Hacker News, a quick weekly roundup of useful news and updates from process hackers who have been guests on Hack the Process with M. David Green. For links to anything mentioned in this episode, please check out the show notes. And to join the community and receive expanded updates weekly, sign up for the mailing list at hacktheprocess.com slash contact. Welcome to the Process Hacker News for January 29th, 2019. This week, we've got skipped habits, disruptive thinkers, saying no, and more. Enjoy! In events, disruptive thinkers will convene for the tech conference Disrupted 19 from January 30th to February 1st in Winnipeg, Canada, to discuss the future of work and education. Jennifer Riel will be one of the keynote speakers. On February 11th, Rich Miranov and Bruce McCarthy are joining Product Tank Auckland in New Zealand to speak about saying no to good ideas. In media, Shira Miller had a successful business, but the economic recession hit her hard, and she had to let go of her dream. On the Life Through Transition podcast with John DeWall, Shira shares how she made peace with it and how she got back on her feet again. Find out more about e-commerce cooperatives like Empowery, as their president, Barth Jetto, explains their value on the Winning Brand podcast. Sasha Ariel Alston stars on the Super Women in Science podcast, where she discusses teaching youth about coding. If you're not feeling it in your heart to set goals, Mark Silver suggests you create a stop doing list instead in his latest video. In writing, after winning the 2018 Reader's Choice Awards, Adam Sadiq's book Shackled has been nominated again for the 2019 Reader's Choice Awards. Cast your vote and show some support. In an article on Book Riot, Kate Swoboda's book, The Courage Habit, was recommended as one of the 15 best books on habits. Kate also recommends routines to reduce anxiety in her latest episode of the Your Courageous Life podcast. Speaking of habits, Ryan Wagner admits that skipping habits and daily habit streaks can often stress us out. Serving in Congress, you might find people whose views and opinions oppose yours. Chief strategist Chris Campbell shares his insights about working with people who are very different from yourself in an interview with Ron Carucci for Forbes. And in recommended resources, being a Wayfinder means keeping your authentic self to excel in life. If you'd like to become a Wayfinder life coach, Martha Beck, recommended by Pace Smith, is accepting registrations until February 21st. The Tesla Customer Referral Program ends on February 1st, but before then you can give your friends a chance to gain exclusive benefits, like six months of supercharging, a chance to race an electric semi-truck around their test track, and an extended five-year warranty. Tesla CEO Elon Musk was mentioned as an inspiration by many past Hack the Process guests, including Ricky Yeen, Alex de Simone, Tom Morcus, Omar Zenholm, and Loic Lemur. In an interview with Men's Health, Malcolm Gladwell, referenced by Josh Hanum, reveals some details about his new podcast, Broken Record, his love for music, and sadness. Thanks for listening to this Process Hacker News update from Hack the Process. Go to hacktheprocess.com for links and details, or to sign up for the mailing list for expanded updates. And please leave a rating in iTunes and a comment to let us know what processes you're hacking. This has been M. David Green for Hack the Process.